What is up, Pro Guides family, and welcome back to another League of Legends video. I missed you guys. I hope that you're all doing really well. You're climbing and you're getting better at League. Today, we have a patch preview for some of the changes that are going to happen for 10.9. We did just receive confirmed news from Riot that these are the list of champions and items that are going to be nerfed or buffed next patch, so stay tuned. The specific changes aren't out just yet, but we'll cover those in our upcoming changes video, which is going to release tomorrow. So hit that sub button to be notified. I know we had a question of the day earlier on, but I want to ask you guys, how many divisions have you guys climbed this season? All right, guys, to start things off, let's cover the list of nerfs. The champions who will receive a nerf next patch are Wukong, Karthus, Trundle, Bard, and Nami. I gotta say, these are some questionable picks, but I can see a good argument for most of them. When it comes to Wukong, Karthus, and Trundle, these three champions are really, really good in high elo, and were causing a lot of issues. Karthus was already really strong because he can full clear all his camps by three minutes, so I hope they target his Q damage to monsters. Trundle, on the other hand, is somewhat of a questionable pick. He's undoubtedly strong, but he's only been at the top for such a short amount of time. He was in the gutter for multiple months before his set of buffs, and I guess Riot finished selling his new Dragon Slayer skin, so off to the gutter once again. Just kidding. And when it comes to Bard and Nami, these two champions do deserve some nerfs for solo queue for sure. Bard is extremely strong in high low, and Nami is one of the best supports in the game for gold to platinum players. The buff changes made to her E a few patches ago had made her a little bit broken, and she'll likely be receiving a decent nerf. Okay, now moving on to the buffs. The champions who will get buffed next patch are Kane, Lissandra, Fiddlesticks, Quinn, Nar, and Shogath. Well, with Kane and Nar receiving so many massive buffs in the past few patches, it's a good indication that we will now be seeing new skins for these two, right? We'll have to wait and see, but if they do decide to release a good Kane skin, I'll probably cop that one. I love his edginess. The rest of the picks are pretty solid when it comes to buffs this patch. Lissandra, Quinn, Cho'Gath, and Fiddlesticks are doing decent in the meta, but they aren't OP by any means. However, they'll have to be really careful when buffing champions like Quinn and Lissandra because they're quite unfun to play against when they're on the strong side. I'm actually pretty excited for the Cho'Gath buffs because I actually had some fun playing him recently in the mid lane as full AP with Glacial Augment. And lastly, when it comes to Fiddlesticks, his win rate is steadily increasing thanks to the hotfix buffs made to him last patch, but he's still a bit on the weak side. Let's see what Riot has in store for him tomorrow. Hopefully it's something good. And now let's cover the final buff, which is coming to Sanguine Blade. When this item was introduced at the start of the season, it was completely broken, and Riot ended up gutting it. The amount of value junglers and top laners received from this item was far too much, and they had no idea how to balance it. However, for next patch, it looks like they're taking another shot. If this item becomes anything close to what it was previously, then you can expect a lot of champions to return to top tier. Champs like Nocturne, Quinn, Jace, and so many others can abuse the buffs. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with them. Like we mentioned earlier, guys, this is all the information that we have right now. However, these are the confirmed lists of champions that will receive buffs this patch. We'll make sure to release our upcoming changes video tomorrow or the day after to cover every buff and nerf in detail. So smash that sub button to stay notified. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy that a lot of you guys have been able to join our live classes recently. They've been extremely fun to connect with you guys and to get everyone better at the game. Once again, we have our live classes with Poe Belter, Mike Young, Zyrene, and many more. So so come join us on Pro Guides if you want to see those. Also, if you guys are interested in getting better at League of Legends or TFT or Valorant or any of those good games, why don't you head on over to Pro Guides and find yourself a challenger coach right now. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck in your next few games, and I'll see you on the Rift.